As more and more school districts head back to school in person, we're getting a better idea of how the impacts of the pandemic are really still around. Test scores for Colorado students are still bouncing back from the year plus of remote learning. 10 for 7's Veronica Acosta breaks down these new numbers. I want to point out just how much has changed in the past two years. This morning, we saw students walk into a brand new school with their backpacks, maybe a new set of shoes as well. But back in August of 2020, we were seeing and hearing about kids sitting maybe at their kitchen table with that laptop in front of them using a program many of them had never even heard of before, Zoom, to talk to their classmates and even their teachers. And this morning, we now know how remote learning impacted all of their learning as well as their test scores. So we now know there was more participation in CMAS tests this year compared to last, but we still do have a really long way to go. Overall test scores improved from last year for most grades in math, reading and arts, but they were way lower than they were back in 2019 and that's across all grades and all subjects. Let's talk about ninth graders specifically. They're of big concern across multiple districts. PSAT test scores showed the percentage of ninth graders who met or exceeded expectations fell almost 9% points than where it was back in 2019. That was the biggest drop across the board. Now, districts and even the state really tried to help learning loss, but we now know those efforts didn't quite pan out like they hoped to. The state, for example, directed the Department of Education to find tools and programs that help reverse learning loss and then keep them in some sort of bank for other districts who would need them. We also know Denver Public Schools poured money into a really aggressive tutoring program to help students with their math and reading. That didn't pan out quite like they wanted to either. We do know DPS is going to be addressing the public about CMAS and those PSAT scores as well. That's expected to happen on Thursday. In Centennial, I'm Veronica Acosta, Denver 7.